Another element that affects taste is the size and cut of the cheese. These will be a drier cheese than this because as this sits in the aging cave, uh, this is going to dry out more and this one's going to be a denser cheese. So you change the surface area, you get a different flavor, you get a different taste. After brining, the cheese is placed into a cheese cave to age. Some are sprayed with mold cultures that develop a rind on the outside of the cheese and will influence the flavor and texture. And I want you to see the difference between the glacier with the mature rind. See how beautiful this white rind is on all of these? So it's a more crumbly texture. These avalanches are the texture of a uh, classic brie. In addition, Dan makes a cheese called the Mount Baldy, in which vegetable ash is added to the mold to produce a less acidic flavor. Within the cheese cave, there are several rooms kept at different temperatures so the cheese can age to different degrees of sharpness. Currently, Dan is aging a batch of Idlewild, a hard slicing cheese with a nutty flavor. And we age it on these uh, pine uh, planks. You can age it on different things. People even age cheese on marble. And the cultures could actually get into the wood or into the marble, and then that will give a particular flavor to the cheese. While everyone loves the cheese, the business of running a small farm is not easy. I guess the biggest challenge running the farm is the finances. It's just so touch and go and it's so hard. And Like if you would have told me years ago that I could sell as much cheese as we do, I would have been like, hot diggity dog, I'm going to be rich, this farm's going to be great. But then if you told me that all the expenses would pile up and at the end of the month you're still negative $10,000, then I, I would have never believed it. To help combat rising feed prices, Dan has started a hydroponic growing system to provide food for his goats. Uh, the benefit of this system is sustainability. Also, no pesticides, no fertilizers. It's completely organic, which means it's better for the goats, which gives us healthier goats, which gives us good cheese, a good product at the end. So the goats are eating the barley grass, which is really good because this is the first time we've given it to them. We were somewhat concerned about the adjustment period, but it doesn't look like there's really going to be one because they're taking right to it, which is excellent. 